There's no one here. I would go into this place too, but they also didn't show up for work today. I think I've seen like a total of 10 people, not including employees. When you're forced out into the streets during a snowstorm uh, for your work and you're an hour and a half away from home, you make it count. Couldn't you guys come in? Damn it. It's actually one of two or three old Sam Goodies left in the US. What's that? All right. So you'll have to forgive me here, I'm in a different car. Um, so yeah, comic book store was closed. Sam Goody didn't have anything. GameStop didn't have anything. I'd say it was a wasted trip, but... Nope. We're going to the mall. Why are we going to the mall? Well, we're gonna go into an FYE. Every once in a while, the FYEs will have something that just aren't available elsewhere and sometimes they're cheaper not always but sometimes um, I've had some good luck at some FYEs I've also had some terrible luck um, uh, to be a hundred percent honest I don't even know if this one is still open I haven't been to it in probably two years but because there's normally one closer to me but I'm gonna check this one out because it did pick up something at the closer FYE that I'm still needing to complete, so. All right, so uh, FYE, as you saw, you know, had some cool stuff, um, nothing that I needed, 
or anything like that. Some stuff, like I said before, was a decent price. Some of it though was not. The main reason that I was going though is because I did stop at an FYE closer to my house uh, a couple days ago. I didn't film it, but uh, I was able to find Too Faced for my Dark Knight collection because I decided, of course, late that I wanted these uh, after I got the Batman and Robins. Um, I had already had Batman, so I didn't need him, but I needed the rest. So I did find Too Faced and I also found Scarecrow. The funny thing about Scarecrow, he was marked on sale at $29.97. Uh, these are originally $39.99. And I looked them up online at like Amazon, eBay and stuff. And they actually go for about that price. Um, but I was going to still hold out and see if I could find them for less. Um, but I took them up to the register and I was like, hey, you know, I'm going to get this one for sure. Let's see how much this one is. And like the funny thing is this one rang up, rang up at $40 and then he had to take it down. Um, and then this one rang up at like 19 something. So it wasn't even marked correctly. And then I have their, their little thing. Uh, so it saved me 10%. My wife got that. Um, I also stopped into, um, Barnes and Noble. Uh, I haven't been to that particular Barnes and Noble in, in, I don't know, three years, something like that. They've made some, a lot of changes. They used to have a lot more collectibles. They don't anymore. I'm glad I didn't film it because it, it was just mostly me walking around, not knowing where anything was, but I did find this, uh, Dune House Secrets, uh, for 12 bucks. So it's a board game, but technically toy related. Uh, this was originally $45 and I got it for 12 bucks. Will I play it? Probably not. Do I like the box art? Yep. So yeah, that ends uh, my part of the toy hunt. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below, you know, if you've had any luck finding Ken if, or the Motu Turtles or anything like that, or what you're hunting for. I'm very curious what everyone's out there finding. But if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us out and get you a bunch of toilet content in your feed. We've got reviews, how to pose videos, weekly podcasts, weekly live stream, and then the weekly toy hunts. And of course, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Modern Toy Fair. And then right now on your screen, you're probably going to be seeing either the review of Mega Man, the review of the Jada Toys Street Fighter Ryu Player 2, or maybe it's my how to convert the J Toys Ryu into a better version. I don't know, but uh, check those out. Greatly appreciate it. But I'll see you guys next week. Same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching. A huge thank you to our Patreon members, Super Tank, Jason Miller, Evan Hernandez, Aaron Samples, The 45th Lyric, Christopher, and last but not least, Boogeyman13.